the city of Bangor has these, uh, these snowplow trucks, there's a bunch of GPS trucks. And they give a, they feed some info, but they never really do anything with the info. It's in a really hard to read format. It's not great to use. Um, so they were wondering if we could help out with how to interpret that data, make it available to the public in some sense, and maybe analyze it and, I don't know, use, use the resources of Bangor mostly. So I want to talk about three things. What we have, why it's cool, and what's next. So let's start with what we have. And there. That's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring this, bring this beast up. So this is part of what we have. This is the uh, this is the hardware side of what we have. <laughs> um, so this is an Arduino microcontroller with a GPS shield, which is just an add-on for it. Um, and this is all feeding up information through Derek's cell phone into a server that we are hosting right over here on this table. Um, it's all kind of hacked together. It's a little, uh, uh, a little unstable, but... Um, okay, here's the software side. So what you can see here is uh, my brother and I we took a drive earlier with this thing in the car, and um, you can see that we have uh, track, you know, our position. Um, the benefit. Hold on, just one second. Okay. All right, now we're a little disheveled and dead-eyed, like like it's been mentioned. We didn't get much. So one of the greatest things about this whole, this whole rig we set up is 
is um, the actual hardware costs about $45 for a single unit. Um, now, since we are running it through their cell phone, uh, we would need extra pieces, so we would be forcing drivers to pick up their cell phones. So, in all, it costs about $100. Oh, that's projected oh, that's 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 You're going on seven? He's going up the road. <laughs> so, it'll be about $100 per device, which comes out pretty cheap, I'd say, thanks to the bank. There are some estimates we've heard um, for services that a third party would provide. And this is why Civic Happy is great, because we're willing to do this for the city of Bangalore, and it can be done way cheaper than anyone else can do it. Um, now, there is a slight downside. We, we built this in the past 30 hours. So what's next? A lot. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's certainly not perfect. In fact, there's an entire portion, the control portion, the mandatory portion of the site, it's not showing up for some reason. Um, so that would be cool to show you as well. So I think we removed it because it was going to move. But uh, we do meet uh, at least every other week. And uh, we had a blast doing this project. And uh, our team showed a lot of, uh, a lot of initiative. And uh, I, I think we've definitely enjoyed uh, continuing working on this project. And maybe uh, contributing it to the city of Bangalore. Chris mentioned to me that you were interested in working on this project sometime last week. And we kind of talked about something like this for a while, but like you had a hint, I think, to share it, that the South City was interested in it. I think actually you and Megan wanted to do it. Yeah, two months and back. And somebody from the City of Bangalore mentioned to Eric that they were having trouble with the present system. But when you mentioned this to me, I said there's no way we could possibly do this. <laughs> I mean, we've been out for 38 hours or something like that now. Dead eyes and fish. From nothing, we developed the whole system. It's just really incredible what you can do on a so really small budget. And so, what we've got here is, is Google Maps, oh, yeah. right? Powering, powering the map. Very important. And up the free service. Um, for the uh, open source hardware is collecting the GPS signal. And then, how is that data getting back to the map in real time? So, we are posting it um, to the server that uh, the Arduino is posting. The Arduino is posting. Um, to a server that we have set up right over here in this corner. Um, and we get a lot of that. Yeah, for somebody to be able to, it's not just for the city of Bangalore, 
It would be a, it would be a public website where anybody can log in and see where the snow was. And that, that's really important to consider also. We built this framework. We're going to release it for free. And we hope a lot of other people are going to adopt it and want to be paired up with things. And so maybe you, maybe you wouldn't see like where the plow is in real time, but you would know like what roads would be safe to travel on, maybe how recently they had been on the road, maybe when they might be coming back, exactly, or when they might come around for the first time. Yeah. And um, this also isn't necessarily just for snow plow trucks, maybe for like recycled trucks, for these speakers, anything to manage a, a fleet of city municipal, uh, municipal fleets. Mm. And so, Sean? Awesome. <laughs>